Hey YouTube, this is Drizzle. I wanted to do a little video here uh, considering this, I just got another ultra wide monitor. I hadn't had one of those for a while and a friend of mine kind of put me onto this model from Viatech. Uh, it's the GN34C which is a another 34 inch ultra wide curved 3440 by 1440 uh, 100 hertz Samsung VA panel with AMD FreeSync. Since I'm using Vega 64 GPUs right now, uh, I've been playing with FreeSync monitors. And once I got it and I was using it, I thought the FreeSync was working okay. Um, and as it turned out, like it really wasn't even working most of the time because the range on this thing is really bad. The FreeSync range is only 80 to 100 hertz, which is really stupid because that means you've got to have at least a frame rate of 80 frames per second pretty much all the time, or FreeSync doesn't even work. And, I mean, it's it's difficult to maintain that frame rate in some, a lot of games, especially uh, not to rip on AMD, but their GPUs just aren't, uh, you know, powerful enough to, to run a lot of modern games on high settings at this resolution and maintain 80 frames per second. It's just difficult to do. Uh, so, and that, like I said, that's just a terrible, terrible FreeSync range. Usually most monitors give you more like a 35 to 40 frame range to play in so that you know if you got between like 40 and 80 you would stay in the free sync range for example this one doesn't give you a very good range so you know I was kinda a, a bit annoyed with it plus I was having some other problems with it um, where it's like any game I would load the menus like the main screen the menu screens were extremely uh, the, like they were flickering and the screen would keep going in and out like being black and come back up and I mean once you clicked continue or load or start your game or whatever and got into the game it was fine in terms of it playing although again FreeSync basically wasn't working because the game was uh, unless I was getting a, a high enough frame rate so I did some digging around on the internet and I did find a, a solution but the solution that I found uh, I kinda had to modify because it still didn't work right so I'll walk you guys through what I did to get this monitor to work uh, correctly and the reason I'm doing this is because anybody who has a free sync monitor you can apply this fix to it and it should uh, you might have to play with it and try to set up a range that works better for you for your monitor if you don't have this particular model but this is a it's a Samsung VA panel so pretty much any ultra wide that uses this panel will have similar uh, results out of this fix so anyways that said what you're going to need is to download a program called the uh, it's CRU for short, but it's Custom Resolution Utility. So I can show you I've got this here, and you just download it's it's like a few megabytes. It's pretty small, and then you open up uh, your ex extract your uh, your files to just a, you know a folder that you create on your desktop or whatever, and you just get these here. Uh, you don't need these other files. Just just the CRU.exe is all you need. Then you open up uh, your Radeon settings and you go into your display section and you look at the AMD FreeSync. Now you see mine already says 40 to 100 because I modified it but normally it says uh, 80 to 100 and so basically it's displaying whatever FreeSync range your monitor is supposed to have and like I say 80 to 100 uh, was A causing the flickering B it's a difficult range to stay in so uh, the, the instructions I found it was some web forum and I, and I don't remember I don't have the link to it but I wanted to make this video so other people who had the same problem might find this on YouTube and find a solution to their problem if they're, if they're having the same issues so you do like I say you get custom resolution utility you can google it but I'll try to put a link under the video so if anybody wants to download it you should be able to just go right to get to the file you load that up and the first page that opens up it'll have a few things different here but it says right here range limits that's what you want is you want to click on that you click uh, edit and it'll bring up this little page here and the v-rate is what you want to screw with now I've set mine to something else and that's why I wanted to do this video because I didn't follow exactly the instructions that were available on uh, on that website because it didn't work right for me and I changed it initially to 40 to 100 now once you do that and you restart the machine this will start reading 40 to 100 now you see it says 40 to 100 and I actually have mine at 40 to 90 it seems like maybe it only does uh, like if I change it to 40 to 80 maybe maybe it goes by 20s or something I don't know what the deal is or why it's not displaying what I actually have in here but when I had it at 40 to 100 I had all that black screen flash, flashing flickering crap on um, 
on the different menus of the game. Like, even if you just, like, hit escape, and for example, like, I was playing Mass Effect Andromeda for a minute, just to see uh, how it looked on here and how well it would run, and it was having that same problem. E like, even once you got into the game, if you hit escape to go into the game menu, you couldn't really navigate it because it was flashing and made it impossible to see what you were doing. Like, it's basically like the monitor is borderline shutting off and on again, or like losing signal and coming back, I think is probably a more accurate description of it. So it would black out and come back fairly rapidly, but make it damn near impossible to read menus or to select anything because it was constantly cutting out. So uh, what I did was I set it from 40 to 90 hertz. Now, granted, you're losing 10 frames per second that the monitor is capable of displaying, but 90 frames a second is still good. Uh, and most most people don't get above that kind of a frame rate on a resolution this high anyway. So uh, I, I can't really tell the difference between 90 and 100 frames per second to the naked eye. I'd say it's pretty damn similar. So once you have set that up and you restart, you'll have, again, your free sync range from 40 to 90 frames a second. Then you come back in here and you go into gaming and you want to go into your global settings and you want to change the frame rate target control to 89. That makes sure it never goes to 90 because 90 is the end of the range. So you want to make sure that your frame rate sits at 89 or less all the time. That means that you can have anywhere from, you know, that gives you a 49 uh, frames per second range where you'll stay in free sync. And I'll go ahead and load up a video here, or a game here in a second, because it works really well. Um, I didn't used to like FreeSync that much, and the fact of the matter is, is most monitors that I've used that have had it have had, like, bad range, what I would consider to be a very small range, a difficult range to stay in, um, you know, different problems. And what, now that I've found this solution, uh, I have a 4K FreeSync monitor. I should really try this on that, too, and to see if I can expand the range or find, like, a sweet spot where it works really well. But I think I will try to load up... I was playing uh, Witcher 3 on it last night for a few minutes. Uh, it was one of them that was like the menus were really bad and flickering and was making it basically impossible to play the game. And uh, I'm going to see how well this works for you guys now, but it was working very well last night. Some other problems I've been having is that um, my computer's been hard locking up during gaming. And I don't think it was doing that prior to me getting a FreeSync monitor. So I think FreeSync is causing my P PC to hard lock up in certain games. And so I'm hoping that this uh, particular set of steps has, you know, made the FreeSync range such that maybe, uh, you know, maybe that was the problem it was happening for, is it was trying to stay in a range it couldn't achieve, or whatever the case might be, hard to say. But maybe this will solve that problem for me too. So we'll load this up. Now granted, this game uses some uh, NVIDIA effects that AMD cards won't be able to do, like the hair works and some things are handled by the CPU instead of the GPUs, but the game still looks really good and this will, uh, we'll see if it runs pretty well. It was doing good last night. Okay. Yeah, now, now I know we can't see the actual frame rate. I'm not running fraps or anything, but like for example, when I had uh, another problem was having like was major stuttering in the game. It wasn't even like a frame rate drop. It was like like this weird jerkiness, uh, like massive stuttering. The the free sync was clearly having a problem like with the image trying to tear and it wouldn't let it tear and it would just keep jerking the image really hard. Especially around this area here when I was facing the water, I was having that problem. I don't know how well this is translating to YouTube, but I mean this is just buttery smooth 3044 by 1440. Everything's on max settings. Uh, this is running on dual RX Vega 64s. Um, I don't even know if this game really takes advantage of Crossfire very well. I guess I should play around with that. I think it does okay, but uh, I think on, even on a single card, I should be able to hit at least that 40 frames per second that I need to get in my free sync range. So as you can see, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. I don't seem to be having a single problem with it. I've got half a mind to restart this game and play it from the beginning because I've played this game two and a half, three times and uh, I'm not tired of it. But yeah, there's like not a not a stutter, not a hitch. Uh, the game isn't crashing. It isn't 
causing any problems with the PC that I can see. The menus, let's make sure everything works good here. See, the menus all work just fine. The only thing I shut off was the hair works because uh, that definitely affects your framework rate a lot and AMD I don't think can really do it that well anyway. It's an NVIDIA game works thing. But everything else is turned on and uh, we are having no problems on this. This is also on my, uh, my Threadripper, Threadripper 1920X and uh, I just installed the latest BIOS update last night to my uh, my Gigabyte AORUS Gaming Series motherboard which updated the microcode for the CPU and it actually seems to be a bit snappier now so I'm getting a little bit better gaming performance my machine seems to be booting quite a bit faster which is pretty cool uh, hello money yeah but that said this clearly is running quite well uh, I tested some other games that previously were having some weird stuttering problems with FreeSync and they all seem to have cleared right up and are running nicely pretty hard to go wrong buttery smooth has no problems at all looks great so that said uh, if anybody has any questions be sure to put them in the uh, comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible uh, I'm usually pretty quick about responding to anybody posting on any of my videos and I will make sure to put up a link for the uh, custom resolution utility so you can go ahead and set this up but like I say if you have questions on how to do it uh, you know if I wasn't clear enough in the video or something just go ahead and make sure to ask below but I'm having a great time with it now now that it's working correctly so thanks for watching uh, maybe click the like button maybe throw me a subscription if you want to continue to watch the channel and I'll keep trying to put up interesting stuff like this because this to me this is interesting to me I like figuring out and finding solutions to weird hardware problems that, uh, you know, or hardware or software problems. But anyways, thanks for watching. You guys have a great one. Later.